welcome to this week's episode of Bungra Beat. Well, I'm sitting in the bar at the Maestro Club in Bradford, and although I'm looking very relaxed, the atmosphere outside is absolutely amazing. We've got a great live show lined up for you, a Chanak, Bradesi, and Apna Sangeet. But first, you may remember Gary and Hal. We featured them on the show a couple of weeks ago, singing live at the Amita Butchin concert at Wembley. We've now got them in the studio with the rest of their group, Oasis. Chumma, 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 Chuma de de chuma, chuma chuma de de, chuma chuma de de chuma. It's sort of coming along as we're learning the songs. But you seem to be coming along great guns with the Hindi. I mean, you seem to be speaking to all the other members of the band in, in words that you've picked up and seem to understand what's going on. Yeah, we, we try to communicate a little bit with the band, but I think there's a lot of Mickey take goes on with us because they think we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> but really, you understand everything. Not all of it. Jambo, Jambo Guana, Abari Gani, Uzuri Sana, Bagay, Bagari Bishwa. Oh Kenya yetu, akuna matata Jambo, jambo, jambo kwana Apali gani, nzuri sana Wageni, wakari bishwa Oh Kenya yetu So how many front singers are there in the band, Hal? There are four front singers. There's myself, Gary, Vahab, who is singing with me um, in the Swahili number, and there's Hasmita who was singing with Gary with in the Chuma Chuma number. Did uh, Wahab speak Swahili before? No, he didn't, no. <laughs> so for both of you, that's a totally new language? Yes, that's right. Time here. Yeah. What about you, Monica? I'm having a brilliant time. Bradford's obviously a very happening place. I just got to give Sam a mention here. This is Mackie's bodyguard, Sam. Hello. Okay. And Mackie, I've also got a big fan of yours no, here, Pepe. Sony Kudina Hogi Apiara Mundi of Patega. Yeah. 
है तार कि पाँदी बेजमा थोड़ी तिले की है तार कि पाँदी बेजमा सारे घर की अखिया जा मुंडे हो मुंडे गए सोनी कुड़ी मैनू हो देना सोनी कुड़ी Absolutely great, Arjinda. How do you think it went from your point of view? It went great. Uh, I was absolutely boiling so hot. I just came here to cool myself down. Up. Well, it certainly looked like you were enjoying yourself, and the crowd were all going great guns as well. They really enjoyed themselves too. Well, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, yes, I, I, you know, we could see the crowd. I mean, if you see them enjoying them more, we enjoy it more. <laughs> Aki Nawaz, one-time punk rocker, now owns his own record label, Nation Records, specializing in world music. Here he is with the Space Cadets and the track, Statinsky. Now, you run a label called Nation Records down in London. Uh, what kind of music actually influenced you to start your own label up? Uh, well, I was actually involved in bands. I used to play in bands and I've been involved in music, I mean, all my life really. Just, um, but it was more like on a rock side and then I got into like more experimental music and now we've got like Nation Records has been set up as a, as an experimental label with world music, with, you know, with dance music or, uh, but all the music's in, uh, all the music what we're doing, all the world music, is all in its authentic, you know, in its authentic nature.
label, it's, you know, the whole thing about getting world music, it, you know, it's been done, but it's been done in a really tacky way or a cabaret way, but we're, like, making it totally street level, street vibe, um, you know, that's, like, taking into consideration things like production and things like that, and, um, you know, just in different languages, there's no English vocals, we're not doing English vocals, and, um, Bulgarian, Spanish, uh, Indian, you know, African, whatever. It's just, and you know, it's also taking, but it's doing something creative with that. It's putting it together and trying to do something new. I mean, I, you know, I'm not here, if, uh, you know, I'm not interested in crossover. We have a lot of people talking about crossovers, you know, I mean, I don't give a shit. For me, it's my art, it's, my, it's our, our music. We're putting a lot into it. If people like it, brilliant. Um, you know, which you know, we're getting really positive responses from what we're doing, uh, and I'm not interested in you know compromising. We're very uncompromising. We're doing what we want to do, and I think a lot of a lot of young Asian youth who are doing things in music should also be doing what they want to do and not what the market wants them to do, and and that's the way they're going to create their credibility and they're going to. Like kind of, you know, it's like rap music, public enemy, and people are, do not compromise. They do it, and then the market follows it, and it loves it, and people get into it. You know, it, it should have happened the same thing with Bangra music, but it didn't. Everybody was too desperate. Everybody wanted they wanted fame more than they were into their music. Mm -hmm.